Good afternoon, everybody. I have one of my favorite spa men with me at the moment, Kent Richards, Six Senses of Six Senses Hotels and Resorts. Hello, good afternoon, Kent, how are you? I'm very good, Mark, thank you. And I, we're gonna go straight into it. Kent is joining us on the 3rd and 4th of April in London for the World Spa and Wellness Convention. And your workshop, Kent, is sustainability, practical steps for you, for your spa and hotel. What are Six Senses doing on the sustainability front? Wow, quite an opening question, Mark. Um, I'm sure many people know that in Six Senses, we've had sustainability at the core of who we are for many, many years. And how we view our business is we are a wellness, a wellness hospitality company. And sustainability comes under wellness as well because if you don't look after the earth, there's no point <laughs> in, in worrying about how well we all are anyway. But over the years, we've really progressed more and more and I've got numbers could go on forever. I'll drop a few in as we go along, but um, you know, it all began quite small and now we get to 2022 where we are dealing with over 500 government officials around the world where we are um, measuring exactly how many communities we have been able to deliver uh, a better quality of water, helping with education, um, becoming plastic free. You know, there's so much that, that we are doing. And our main goal nowadays is to really make sure that we have zero waste, zero waste going back to landfills. And we're not quite there now, but we have many strategies in place and we're getting closer to that goal. But I mean, when do you think you'll hit that goal, do you think? I, you know, um, we're getting closer and closer. Uh, we hoped by 2022. I think it will probably take about another couple of years, about uh, three or four years, but we would rather um, not be too aggressive on that because, you know, uh, post-COVID, we're coming back into a different world. Uh, we're also opening four new properties every year. And we're finding as we go into new communities, we kind of have to start again from scratch. Uh, but our main philosophy around sustainability is people, planet, and profit. I had to have a look because I've written a lot of things down here. But people, planet, and profit, that is what, in some senses, sustainability is all around. And um, in order to have zero waste, we have to work with people. We have to work with the local communities. It's no point making sure that in our boundaries, everything is A-OK, -okay, and then on our doorstep, the communities are, are not following systems or we're not helping them. So there's many, many different avenues to talk about. So can you're joining a panel with of 90 minutes with other speakers, but mm. this today, can you, can you give us some pointers? Where do I start? I mean, Six Senses, fantastic reputation, very high end. A lot of our readers and visitors will be thinking, well, it's okay for Six Senses, they've got the budget. I'm running yeah. a smaller spa. Where, where do I start with my smaller spa? You know, really Mark, anyone can get going. And the most important thing to, to understand and to realize is no matter what you do, be it one point or be it 500 points, be it if you've got one, one um, spa or if you have them all over the world, if you just do one thing. And where we began is by doing our own audits of how many items of, of plastic did we have in our spa. So, you know, each location looked into their own business and recorded how many pieces of plastic do, do we have? And as a company, we had over 5 million pieces of plastic in our hotels, resorts, and spas. And therefore we knew that we had to be very careful as to how we planned when we would be plastic free. Now, if you operate one spa, there's no reason why you can't do your own audits and work out how many pieces you have, and then tick it off one by one to have a look at how you eliminating plastic. That's just only looking at how you can help the planet. Then if you look at people, 
surely you'd want to ensure that wherever you're located, that the community around you is benefiting from you being there. So find out exactly what are the needs of the community? How can you involve them in your business? How can you really help them? And finally, profit, you know, having a look at how can you make profit out of sustainability? And that is largely around not buying items that you can self-produce. I mean, Six Senses in 2021, we produced over 70 kilograms of honey because we had bees at, at every property. You know, that would have been honey that we would have had to buy. We produced uh, over a hundred kilograms of essential oils for our spas. You know, we're, we're making um, plenty of compost. So whether you do it on a big scale, like, like we do, or whether you do it in your little courtyard behind your, your, your uh, neighborhood spa, it doesn't come down to money. It really doesn't. It's just about doing your own little plan in your own way and adding one more thing as you get going. Thank you. I, I should also introduce my co-host, Jean-Guy de Gabriac yes. of the World Wellness Weekend. Jean-Guy is driving our program on the 3rd and 4th of April. Welcome, Jean-Guy. Do you Zuma. have any questions to fire at um, Ken? You, you know, I'm, I'm thrilled to have Kent back at the convention. Um, he doesn't speak every year, but whenever he comes, and he has come quite often, he always delivers a, a very dynamic, very enthusiastic um, presentation filled with numbers. And I believe we will have some in, in just a few minutes. Uh, you, you just gave us some, Kent, uh, but, but I'd, I'd like to get a little bit more into the measurables and the SPIs that you have. Um, yes. Because I know that, for instance, one of the other speakers on that panel, Mark, is Manola Fresta. And Manola, mm. last year, while Richard was on the stage picking up uh, awards for some of the Six Senses property, Manola, as the Senior Director of Sales and Revenue for Le Fay Resort in Italy, went on stage and got that very coveted prize of the best, um, most sustainable um, property in the world. And they have numbers deliverables that they that they place directly at the heart of their strategy not only at uh, lago de garda but also in the dolomite so manola will be sharing some of these and lucy briley the co-founder and director yeah. of the sustainable spa associations will be also joining us in london so three very powerful people kent i have a question for you uh, so many times it's it seems that the millennials when they join companies there are all about planet people, not so much about profit, but planet and people, there's very much in it. Do, would you say that those um, objectives that are drawn through your audits, once given to members of the team at Six Senses, they turn those uh, uh, guest experience makers into champions of sustainability? Jean-Guy, first of all, thank you for the, the compliments about previous years. I love coming to World Spa and Wellness. You know, it really is great to reconnect with all of our colleagues around the world. Uh, but getting into your question more, I think you'll find it interesting to note that our corporate sustainability programs have been driven by younger people. We've worked with a lot of interns. We've had students from uh, many colleges get involved. And it was actually a student program that discovered 80% of our plastic came from 18 items. Wow. So we started looking at, eight, at those 18 items, we wiped out 80% of our plastic. Wow. It was like toothbrushes, disposable underwear, uh, you know, uh, the, mainly the packaging um, that your shampoo, conditioner, and soap would come in, uh, all these items. But it was students that really drove that by doing their end of year projects and all those uh, different kinds of uh, academics that were required that discovered many things that would have taken us a lot longer to unveil. Because we at Six Senses were always focused on measuring, which is great, but we hadn't drawn the lines and we hadn't, you know, compared all the different properties. So again, I recommend to all those locations out there, 
you know, it, it comes down to what does sustainability mean to you and how do you want to make an impact? So for us in Six Sense and Spas, you know, it became obvious we have to have a separate water meter. We have to have a separate electricity meter for our spa area so that we can really know what is our usage. Whereas five years ago, you know, the resort would get a reading and they would divide it by square meterage. So if your spa was 2000 square meters, that's what you were using. Whereas now we can really see how much we are saving more and more. Uh, when it comes down to laundry, are you weighing your laundry? You can do that if you've got uh, one treatment room or if you've got 25. Weigh your laundry and have a look at how you're reducing the amount of laundry that you're doing on a daily basis. Um, so what we look at is water, power, laundry, uh, waste, making sure that you're separating your waste and that you're weighing it. And where is that waste going? It costs nothing. You know, but just making sure that your glass is being recycled, that your um, that, that your uh, products that that can be used in compost are going into that area. Um, so that is water, lights, laundry, waste. Uh, making sure that you have a herb garden, you know, so that you can use your items, and of course the community. So anyone can do it, and the youth we find nowadays are, are that much more committed to sustainability and everything. And believe it or not, the profit as well, because they want to show what they're contributing back. I like the uh, angle on profit because a, a lot of people <clears throat> believe that obviously a, sustainability is a drain on finances. Have mm. you shown, you've obviously had a lot of investment in time and no doubt money as well, but what has it had an impact on your costs? Well, you know, um, luckily we have a great group of suppliers. And again, it doesn't, you don't have to be a global company to have your suppliers. Um, and it all got down to starting with notifying them where we were going. So back in 2018, we notified our suppliers that, hey, we can't have your products arriving in plastic. When food would be arriving for deliveries, it used to come in plastic containers and be dumped at our property, and then we would have to dispose of them. Now, we don't accept anything that arrives in plastic because we've given our suppliers four years notification. When it comes to costs, there's been you know, cost regarding putting in water meters, electricity meters everywhere, making sure that our IT systems can do a lot more measuring, you know, than, than we had before. But no matter what the cost, the profits can be really a lot larger than you expect. I mean, I'm just having a look here. Uh, we've grown 35,000 kilograms of vegetables in 2021. Our resorts have grown 35,000 kilograms. That didn't cost any money. We would have had to go and buy 35,000 kilograms of vegetables. You know, so if you do the mathematics, yeah, there are some costs, but you can by far overcome whatever cost you have and get a good return by following a sustainable practice. Think about compost. Um, I'm just looking up here how much compost was produced. Um, but I know plenty, oh, 600,000, over 600,000 kilograms of compost was produced in 2021. But you know, even if that is too advanced for most people, if you purely eliminate drinking water out of plastic bottles, if you, and there are suppliers everywhere now, you don't need to have plastic to drink water or to provide a guest a free water in a plastic bottle. You know, you can get glass bottles from most suppliers nowadays. And again, a number for Jean Guy, 870,000 plastic bottles we prevented using in 2021. Yes. That we would have used 870,000 plastic bottles. So even if that's all you do in 2022, you've made a commitment to sustainability in your spa. So costs, 
nothing, minimal compared to the return that you're going to get. And if you are, you know, a, a privately run spa and you're doing all the treatments, just start with having no plastic water bottles. It will make a huge impact. It's a great start. Do you notice Six Senses is all over the world. Do you notice mm. any particular region that is leading the way on this in, in your empire? Or is it? Well, I think we're quite lucky here because, um, you know, sustainability is so much at our core that each of our properties, we have a sustainability manager, a full-time sustainability manager. Now that is a, a luxury and a gift maybe many people can't have. Um, so in our properties, some places that might take longer to convince the guest as to, you know, why the toothpaste might look different or, uh, you know, why the amenities are served differently. Um, but generally when people come to six senses, they expect to find, because they know that we've got wellness and, and sustainability at our heart, they expect to find that we, we're more driven that way. Uh, and what we see is mainly in the Maldives and in Europe, we find people are a lot more um, aware of the need to go this route. And people often make a comment, our guests often make the comment that they, they chose coming to us because they knew about our sustainability efforts. And the other thing is not to keep sustainability underground. You know, put it in the front of your business, put it in the foyer of your spa to show people what you've done, be it um, facts and figures or be it recycled items. Uh, so what we've done is we've opened up a shop in all of our resorts called Earth Lab, where you can go in and see us making recycled glass uh, gifts and uh, bottles, etc. So to answer your question about going off the um, point, Maldives and Europe are very in line with what we talk about. And so the and so each of your spas has a recycle lab, does it? So you really are making a feature as, as part of your marketing campaign as well. Uh, it's quite funny, Mark, because uh, our spas and our resorts were quite competitive about who was doing more. And in our spas, we always had what we call an alchemy bar where we would use local ingredients and herbs and we would uh, upcycle containers and all kinds of things. And then our resorts and our sustainability team opened what they call Earth Lab. And in the Earth Lab, they were doing similar things. So now we've got together and we thought, hey, we one company and now we're working together, uh, making sure that we can really show the guests what they are contributing towards by staying at a success resort. And the Earth Labs are now designed in our new properties right up there in the front as you walk in. Because, you know, before it would take uh, any, any space that was left over. But as we're designing new properties, it's up front where the guests can easily find out what we're up to. Excellent. Thanks. It's going to be quite remarkable to hear all about that on April 4th in the workshop because uh, Six Senses used to be known as a fantastic uh, group with beautiful resorts out there in nowhere. And therefore sustainability was, it was a big, big thing. More and mm -hmm. more, the group backed with IHG and also its own dynamic is growing into mountaintops, centers of cities. And, and I'm thinking especially about the project in New York where sustainability is still at the core of your DNA. Exactly. Um, if we didn't have, if we had one property that didn't have sustainability at the core, it couldn't be six senses. It's like you couldn't find a six senses that doesn't have a spa. You can't find a six senses that wouldn't have sustainability at the core. In fact, uh, we're growing very, very fast regarding our, our branded residences. Um, we currently have under construction over a thousand residential keys around the world. And that's another way where sustainability is going to be at the core. So people will be buying properties into a six senses residential development, and there will be sustainability built into design, built into 
how we do refuse collection built into every aspect of our properties. And you're right, Jean-Guy, you know, the more we open in urban areas, New York, London, Rome, um, Istanbul, uh, it, it certainly is different into how we would do it in Phuket or in mountain areas or in Bhutan. But um, do we have all the answers? No, but we're quite happy just knowing that we will learn and we will get there. We'll keep on adding to it. So what we've got is 20 years of getting to this point. And, you know, if we can learn from others, like the, uh, the panel that we're going to be talking to, I work with um, Lucy a lot in the Sustainability Association. But if we can learn from Lefay and others, we all ears, really, because it's just going to help everybody in the end. And that's the whole point of the workshop, because information at the World Spa and Wellness Convention is not only top down from the stage down to the delegates, it's also mm. very interactive and delegates are known to respectfully disagree sometimes uh, yes. and always also exemplify with their own successes. Of course. And when you start looking around, I mean, if there are uh, people who really need support, I met a lady about a month ago who has designed an app called the green calculator and it's incredible it allows you to <clears throat> enter a lot of your readings and what you're doing as a business into this app and it gives you a score as to where you are regarding sustainability based on your criteria and how you can improve and it's free the green calculator is free you know so it really isn't about money. It isn't about size. It's just start small and work together. I like your point about making an audit. You know, whatever size or stage you are in the process, there'll be a lot mm. of people out there who know it's something. You know, in the West, we most of us focus that we need to do more. Many of us are yeah. daunted. So start by making an audit and finish. Well, not finish, but. Um, gentlemen, we've run out of time. It's supposed to be um, 15 minutes. Uh, Kent, you'll be pleased. It's 22. Um, <laughs> but we will, <laughs> see you, we will see everybody on the 3rd and 4th of April in London. Um, Worldfilewellness.com for those who want to find out information. Kent, Jean-Guy, see you very soon. And thank you very much. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Jean-Guy. A bientôt. Bye. See Bye. you there. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.